This is the real Tom Rose, and we're going to solve this function by simply plugging in. This function, f of x, is simply the SAT's way of defining what the inputs and outputs are in a process they want you to take. For example, for this equation, I'm just copying this right out of the problem, x is the input and f is the output. And it's as simple as that. Um, how do you know what, what goes into the function? Well, later when they give you something such as f of negative 4, you know that negative 4 will be the input because it's inside the parentheses, just as the x was inside the parentheses in the function you were originally given. When that happens, you can simply swap out all the x's for negative 4's. And you can solve that. Negative 3 times negative 1 in this case, which will equal 3. So f of negative 4 is equal to 3. And we've been asked which of the following has a negative value. So this one is not it. And I'm going to cross out A. Now we have to do this multiple times because we have to check all the values. Of course, we can stop when we get to the one that is negative. And I can already see a trend starting to emerge, which is the only way f is going to be negative is if these two values one is positive and one is negative. Right here, these are both negative, and a negative times a negative will always be a positive. What we're looking for is a negative times a positive. So I'm going to try um, f of negative 2, which looks to me as though it's going to create our negative positive situation. f of negative 2 equals negative 2 plus 1 times negative 2 plus 3. And that's going to equal negative 1 times positive 1, which is equal to 1. And that is negative. So C will be our answer. Let's do the others just in case you're interested in seeing them. Um, F of negative 3 will be equal to negative 3 plus 1 times negative 3 plus 3. That's going to have a negative 2 times 0, which will be equal to 0. Um, let's go ahead and try f of negative 1. The negative 1 plus 1 times negative 1 plus 3. That'll be 0 times 2, which is equal to 0 again. So that one's out. And finally, let's try f of 0. 0 plus 1 times 0 plus 3. That's 1 times 3, which equals 3. So D, E is out.